All right, everybody, welcome back. We are diving right back in. You guys wanted us to get the real deal about what it's like working at Forbes, right? Absolutely. Going beyond the glossy magazine covers and headlines. Exactly. And we've got our hands on these two employee reviews. Oh, juicy. Let's hear it. One from a techie, a front-end engineer to be exact, and another from the marketing world. Two totally different worlds, you'd think. You'd think so. You'd think so. Different departments, different priorities. Should be interesting to see how they line up or don't. But that's what makes these deep dives so fascinating. That's right. You never know what we're going to find. Right. Peeking behind the curtain. Love it. Okay, so this engineer, first up, they say there's great leadership of technically not competent managers. And I got to say, that's quite the statement right there. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of ironic, isn't it? Like, how do you have great leadership if they don't actually get the technical stuff their team is doing? Right. Makes you wonder what great even means in this context. Right. So I'm curious, how often does this actually happen in the tech world? Is this a common thing? Honestly. Yeah. It's more common than people realize. Tech moves so fast, and sometimes management training, well, it doesn't quite catch up. They're good at the managing part, but not the tech part. Fascinating. And then... Just to make things even more interesting, this same engineer mentions a pro-women culture, which on the surface sounds great, but then they also say their raises barely cover a streaming service subscription. Ooh, now that's a red flag right there. Big disconnect. Exactly. So it makes you think, is this a glass ceiling situation? Yeah. You know, they say they're all about supporting women, but does that actually translate into fair pay and opportunities? It's tricky, right? Because we're working with just one person's experience here. It's hard to extrapolate an entire company culture from that. Fair enough. Fair enough. But it does highlight something really important. Yeah. We got to look at multiple factors, get different perspectives, not just take one statement at face value. Actions speak louder than words, basically. Totally. It's that gap between what a company says it is and what employees actually experience. Speaking of gaps, let's move on to this marketing review. Buckle up because this one gets a little intense. Oh boy, hit me with it. All right, so get a load of these words. Clicky, toxic, even shell of a person. And they mentioned a really high turnover rate. This isn't just someone having a bad day. This is different. Yeah, those are some strong words. And consistent with that high turnover, that's not a good sign. Yeah. Definitely pointing towards something deeper going on there. Right. Like a certain level of competition. Sure, every workplace has that. But this, this feels different. Exactly. This isn't just about a tough work environment. This really hints at a potentially unhealthy workplace culture overall. Something's not right. Okay. So we've got these two reviews, totally different roles, different departments. But there's a common thread here, isn't there? They both experienced a disconnect between the Forbes brand you know, the success, the innovation, and the reality on the ground. Yeah, totally. You've got that image, that public perception of what it means to work at Forbes, and then you've got these lived experiences that don't quite match up. And that makes you wonder, how much of a company's public image is actually real, and how much is, well, carefully crafted narrative? It's the age-old question, right. And that's why these insider perspectives, these first-hand accounts, they're gold ED. They remind us to be critical thinkers, to not just accept what we see at face value, do your research, people. Exactly. Whether it's a company's image, their products, their media, question everything. Look for those diverse viewpoints. Multiple sources, different opinions. That's how you get the real story. So here's a thought for you all at home. Hmm. Knowing what we know now, would you take a job at Forbes? Something to chew on, right? We've only scratched the surface here, but hopefully this gets you thinking, gets you asking the right questions. Absolutely. Your career is a big deal. Make informed choices, folks. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs>